Hello friends, welcome to Learners Planet. Friends, in this session of permutation combination, we'll be taking more problems based on letters, numbers, and other arrangements. Right? In the previous session, we did good number of problems uh, based on arrangements. So, but higher difficulty level problems uh, we will be taking in this session. So let's begin it. Now let's see this question. The principal wants to arrange five students on the platform such that the boy Salim occupies the second position and uh, such that the girl Sita is always adjacent to the girl Rita. How many such arrangement are, arrangements are possible? Right? Now we have five students 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. At the second position, the person Salim is fixed. So we just have one choice over here. Right? Now for the other positions, we need to have Sita and Rita together, right? So we treat them as one person. Now we have uh, fixed one person. Now we are left with four places and we have to arrange four persons. In that, I tied up uh, S and R, that is Sita and Rita. And uh, now I have two more persons, right? Maybe P and Q. Now, since S and R have to be together, that is Sita and Rita have to be together, none of them can come over here. So, these two people will take place from these three positions, that is consecutive positions, right? Now friends, for two consecutive or adjacent position, we have two options, that is this and this, right? Either this should sit in both these seats or both these, right? That means S and R can be arranged in two factorial ways and there are two uh, adjacent choices we have so into two factorial right now the third one is uh, on the third seat p and q should sit right so now s and r have been arranged into factorial into two factorial ways now we are left with two positions and on these two positions p and q can be arranged in two factorial ways right so two into two into two that is eight ways are there Clear? I just repeat it once again. S and R, we just have two adjacent positions over here. That is one and this two. So, two, um, S and R can uh, sit in two factorial ways. Then S and R can mutually arrange themselves in further two factorial ways. That is S, R, R, S here or maybe S, R, R, S here. Right? So, it's clear to you. Then the remaining, uh, for two remaining positions, P and Q set, uh, can, may set in two factorial ways. So in all, eight ways are there, right? Now, how many numbers between 400 and 1000 can be formed with the digits 0, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 if no digit repeated in the same number? Now friends, uh, numbers are between 400 to 1000. That means obviously th three digit numbers are there, right? So 1, 2 and 3. Now the numbers should be greater than 400. That means we have the single option that uh, the first position should be occupied by 4, 5 or 6 only, right? So the numbers will be greater than 400, right? Otherwise, uh, if we choose any of these remaining numbers that is 0, 2 and 3, then the numbers uh, will be, numbers formed will be less than 400, right? So we have three options over here. Now we don't want the repetition, but at the second place we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 choices, but we don't want the repetition. So we'll remove one number that has already come over here. So we are left with 5 choices. Now next, two numbers have already been there and now we are left with the 4 numbers. So it's 60 numbers. Right? Right? 